Hey everyone. Um, I am uh, installing a shower pan or shower base in my bathroom, which I'm redoing. Um, after buying a different 36 by 36 shower pan um, and not being happy with it, I went back to, we were able to find the serial number on our old pan and 30 years later they still make it. And that is this, this Swan Stone. Um, I'm not sure the exact number, but it's a 36 by 36 pan. Um, it's a little bit different. It seems to be a little bit sturdier, as a matter of fact. And um, But the drain is a little bit different, and that, I suppose, concerns me a little bit. Um, I wanted to search the internet, see what people thought about the drain. Uh, there wasn't anything out there. So, um, my floor is red because I put on uh, Red Guard. Uh, I'll be using that on the walls. Um, we had a little bit of water leakage before, and uh, I just wanted to protect the wood floor. I did replace some of the subfloor, and so the Red Guard is only there to kind of put some additional protection. It's a very thin coat um, on the floor. We'll see how that works out. In either case, I am going to drop this into place. It, it fits the, the 36 by 36 area perfectly, and uh, we're going to go through the process with you so you can see what it looks like. So um, I'm going to now put it in place, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so all I basically did was lay the pan uh, in the spot. As I said, I was unhappy with one of the other pans that I had bought. Um, it would have required me to move the drain. Um, that is one of the differences in this pan. So our other, our other pan had, was basically kind of cut right here. Um, and then we had a different kind of drain fixture that attached. This one seems to have, um, I don't know what to call it, but it goes down about two inches and kind of gets close. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, you can. Um, you can see that it, it kind of gets close to there and then you would put this gasket on the sides. Now, all of that, you know, only this rubber in between, you know, the water leaking into the ceiling uh, below. We have a hallway directly below this, uh, uh, this shower. Um, concerns me a little bit. I'm gonna investigate putting uh, some kind of silicon caulk in there as well to make sure that it's uh, truly watertight. Um, but I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do at this point. But once again, um, having gone back and getting the same pan from the, the manufacturer, it fits perfectly, didn't require me to do any additional work. So um, now we're going to work on that, uh, that drain right there. All right, per the instructions, I got some dish soap and I put it on the gasket. That's supposed to help it slide into place. And not per instructions, I got some uh, silicon caulk. And so I'm going to caulk the bottom side of it um, before sliding it down into place. Uh, since I only have two hands, I have to um, do that without the camera running. Okay, well, the, the drain gasket is in. Um, made sure that when this goes in it uh, I hadn't pushed the gasket originally I didn't push the gasket down far enough and so when I put the um, screen in um, or the strainer um, it was kind of popping up just a tiny bit so I just made sure it was the, the, the gasket was recessed enough and it's in there at this point so um, Everything seems to be going along well. I still have a rag down in there. Keep the sewer gas out. Um, and uh, at this point, I'm going to cover the surface of this and start working on uh, putting up the, um, the green board on the outside. So green board is what was in here originally. It held up really well, so um, I'm going back with green board um, 
rather than using the cement board. And um, the only thing that the instructions seem to have is that they wanted a half inch between the flange and uh, where the board is. And they say it's because of a wicking effect. You don't want the water to wick up onto the, um, onto the green board. So uh, no problem there. Uh, just this right here was to make sure that my walls are, are nice and flat. Uh, that all the studs are, are lined up so I had to get some spacers uh, to put in there so when I do put up the green board it is perfectly flat and therefore when I put my tiles over uh, there's no bends in the wall otherwise there there would have been a, a bend in the wall so um, next step is going to be uh, putting up the green board and uh, we'll see how that looks with the uh, shower base at that point okay so we got the green board in. Uh, I have a little nook there that's been framed out. But uh, <clears throat> all along the bottom, we have our at least a half inch gap all the way around to make sure. Um, things have been moving since we got the pan in. So I've been very happy uh, with things so far. So the cardboard in there was just to protect things. Um, but everything is... Uh, installed um, as far as the, the shower pan goes so once again we'll see what happens when it comes to if there's any leaks or not so it's actually been uh, a number of months since my last video or the last edit um, pans in tiles in green board's been been in for for quite a while um, I have yet to just grout uh, you can still see I have the the protective coating and tape over the 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 pan, um, but at this point everything progressed very nicely. I left a half inch uh, at the bottom from the green board, and then you just tile over, leaving uh, I think I have like a eighth of an inch gap uh, at the bottom. Um, one of the things I discovered while tiling was while my line right here there we uh, oh, point down further <laughs> this line right here across is level the pan itself was not level so um, it seems to be pretty imperceptible to me but uh, I had to nick off um, at the bottom of those tiles on a slight angle so this front tile is sh actually shorter than the one that's almost a full tile in the, the corner actually I think it is full right at that edge so slight angle but it 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 seems to be imperceptible I think the difference may have been a quarter inch all the way from from this side to the other maybe maybe a third of an inch had to do the same thing on on the other side there is a gap at the bottom um, and you can see I did have to notch out just slightly right here to get over over the threshold so um, I'm pretty happy with the, the way things turned out uh, maybe I'll do one final video but um, you know just to kind of at this point the bathroom is pretty pretty usable we've been uh, um, using it for a while so and we actually just put in a, a, a balance um, so the towels are there but obviously we're not showering at this point um yeah we're pretty happy with the results in 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 what we did and we're eager to to finish up right now we're at the holidays so things have been taking a, a break anyway um i hope to do a uh, completed um uh, a completed uh shower in uh, a little bit with the door um and we still have to put the the, the shower faucet in but uh, hopefully that will be complete. Talk to you soon. All right, here's the final video. The, uh, we finished this two days ago. We've been letting the silicon caulk dry over the last couple days, so we have not showered as of yet, but the uh, shower is done. Um, this was an eight month long project. Um, we are happy with the results. Um, the caulk on the bottom, we used a matching uh, caulk to match the grout, so it is sanded. It looks very similar. Um, we're really happy with the results. 
um, between the tile and the pan itself was supposed to be a um, eighth of an inch. I think in some areas because uh, the pan itself is not perfectly level, um, the gap may have um, been larger than that, maybe a quarter inch or maybe slightly more. But at the end of the day, we're, we're very happy with the results. Um, I'll say at this point, I haven't tested my drain to see if it uh, leaks yet. Um, but we're feeling pretty confident. I think when I started this project, I was not as confident that it wouldn't leak. Um, the door itself, oh, we're, we're very happy with our, our little niche there. And uh, the door came from Lowe's. It is just a Kohler Rebel model. Um, we went with the thinner glass because um, this wall, I failed to properly support. So we were concerned about the weight of the um, a heavier uh, uh, glass panel. Um, but uh, going with the thin glass, it was significantly cheaper and we're actually quite pleased with it. So um, we don't mind. So one last shot of what the bathroom kind of looks like. Uh, pretty much all, all finished at this point. Um, you know, we're just happy with uh, the way things turned out. Can't believe we actually have a, a nice bathroom um, that we lived in the crap hole for a long time. Um, anyway, thank you for watching and good luck with your own projects. Um, have a good day.